The ocean is full of critters with, shall we say, unusual names. Just take the flamboyant cuttlefish, the blobfish, and the frogfish. But there is one, lesser-known marine species that might take the prize for the strangest moniker. Meet the sarcastic fringehead. Many people haven't heard of the sarcastic fringehead. The sarcastic fringehead is a deep-sea creature that lives off the west coast of North America. A type of blenny, the sarcastic fringehead is recognizable by its brown-gray coloring with patches of red or green. Disproportionately large heads and jaws and long, slender bodies. Furthermore, the eyes most commonly have a bulging appearance to them. Not to be left out, the enormous jaw actually extends back past the eyes. The sarcastic fringe head also possesses numerous cirri over the eyes. Its eyesight remains extremely poor, perhaps contributing to its aggressiveness. They are scaleless and come with pectoral. These fish grow to an average of a foot in length and have terrible tempers, which often result in mouth wrestling matches over turf. They live up to six years. They're creepy and also really, really weird. This fish seems pretty darn serious, so you may be asking yourself what makes this fish sarcastic. Well, the word sarcastic in this case is being used in the original sense of the word which is flesh tearing. To defend its territory, the sarcastic fringe head opens its enormous mouth to intimidate its foe. They have specially designed jaws that fan out to the side which makes them appear larger and more intimidating. If the challenger is another sarcastic fringe head, the two will kiss by aggressively pressing their open mouths against each other until one finally gives up and swims away. It's basically a who's got the biggest mouth competition, where the victor bags the best den and a chance to mate. After the female lays thousands of eggs in the prized location and the male has fertilized them, he then defends his offspring with yet more oral agro. Sarcastic fringe heads generally spawn from January to August. The male is charged with protecting the tiny eggs from predators and other threats until they hatch. Then, the 3 mm long offspring will emerge and swim off. Little is known about the feeding habits of the sarcastic fringe head, but scientists expect that the grossly oversized mouths of the males may negatively affect their ability to feed. Most tube blennies feed on very small planktonic prey, but this species is unable to suction feed. They likely eat a variety of prey. During squid spawning season, sarcastic fringe heads can be observed eating large numbers of squid eggs, a valuable food source for many species. They are known to be incredibly territorial and will attack anyone, including other fringe heads and octopuses or even scuba divers who dare to threaten them. These fish seem to have been able to adapt to anthropogenic habitat changes, for example by living in empty cans and bottles, so they are not currently endangered. The sarcastic fringe head may not be the fastest, biggest or cutest fish in the sea, but it deserves recognition for its aggressive demeanor and accompanying name. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you.